All right, Mel, you're a big Knicks fan. Are y'all wrapped up in the Lynn Sanity? I am all. I am all about uh, Lynn Sanity. Jeremy Lynn, uh, Lynn Sanity. He's this uh, kid. He uh, he went to Harvard. He grew up in the Bay Area. He always wanted to go to Stanford. Stanford pretty much told him, "Sorry, kid, you could walk on." He goes to Harvard. He's undrafted. He gets a cup of coffee with the Warriors. He went to Houston for a while. This year, he is stuck with the Knicks, and he is leading a revival. So far, starting at the one, the Knicks are three and zero. Now he is pasted crappy teams like the Nets, who have a pretty good point guard, the Jazz, who don't, and the Wizards, who have John Wall, and Jeremy Lin has almost single-handedly beat those teams by himself. No Carmelo, no Amari Stoudemire. All of a sudden, the Knicks, despite a crappy record, are relevant, and Lin Sanity is trending on Twitter. Now, this is probably fleeting, probably not going to last. They're going to start playing better teams. The Knicks are a train wreck. Amari Stoudemire has the knees of an 85-year-old man. Carmelo Anthony plays no defense, and he's out of position. The backup and other point guards are terrible. They have no guy to consistently play the two. Uh, they have no bench. They're bad. I get it. But Lynn Sanity lives, and for as long as it does, I'm going to be excited about it. It has been a long time since we had something like this to be excited about, so don't begrudge me being excited about Lynn Sanity. I'm all about it, and I want you, Lindsay, to buy me my Lynn Sanity t-shirt. Tweet me about Lynn Sanity and use the hashtag Lynn Sanity, which, by the way, is different than Lind Sanity. Uh, at MoEgger1530, or send me your thoughts on Lynn Sanity, mo at ESPN1530.com.